Welcome back to Funnel Cut Pro 10.1 in depth. We've now looked at how to pr properly prepare your system for updating, and then we've looked at actually how to update in Final Cut Pro 10.1, mm -hmm. and now we're going to actually look at uh, post, -updating. post updating. So you have some yeah. things to say about now your stuff's there, what do I do next? I do, I okay. do. I mean, honestly, you could skip the pre and the post and just do it, but it's always good to like get ready for something you're going to do, and then when you do it, you know, maybe do a few things afterwards to make sure everything's good. This okay? kind of reminds me of the kind of the, the, the standard speech. You tell them you tell them what you're going to tell them and you tell them yeah. what you told them. Yep. So you're going to yep. tell them what you told them, kind it's, of, it's right? Sort of. I'm going to tell, I'm going <laughs> to give a few recommendations and some things you might want to clean up. Okay? okay. So this is kind of like post cleanup a little bit. So I'm going to show the three bullet points here. Once again, I like to do things in three. So I think there's, there's really three things that you can do to get things organized after you've updated. Even if you organize beforehand, because of the update process, there may be a few things that you need to take care of. The first recommendation is to organize your projects into events. The second would be organizing events into library productions, which you're going to talk a lot more about a little bit later. And then the third thing is to consolidate libraries. And I'm going to talk a lot about consolidating in a later lesson when we talk about media management. But let's just look at those three things. Okay, so here's where we were. We've got this new updating library and all of our projects have been placed into this updating projects event. So the first thing I recommend is really to organize these. You may want to leave them here. That, that's a perfectly fine way to organize your work if you'd like to, but generally the way this is designed that you can put your projects into the events they're related to. So for example, this Quintessa Charles project belongs with the winery clips. Those are the clips that were used to make this project. So I'm simply going to take that, select it, and drag it into the Winery Clips event. So if I select that event, it is now shows up at the top, automatically organized into a little project section. By the same token, I'll go back to updated projects, and this tiny little blackouts is this music video that belongs in the music video event. So I'll click on it to select it, drag it into the music video, let's close that up, select the music video event, and there it is at the top. And of course, you may have many, many projects associated with a specific event, so you can pull them all into that event. Um, if the projects are associated with multiple events, you can, of course, uh, put those events together into a single event. We'll cover that in just a minute. But the basic idea is, as a first step, to take all of your projects from this updated projects event and move them into the appropriate event that contains the clips from which those projects were built. Once you've done that, we really don't re need this event anymore. So with it selected, I'm going to hold down the command key and press the delete key to get rid of it. And that's really the first step. So that's one thing. The second thing I mentioned in the slide here was organizing events into library productions. And what that means is we talked about during the update process that Final Cut creates one library per volume. Okay? That might not be how you want to organize your events. Um, Libraries, you can think of libraries as a specific kind of production. And again, we'll get more into this, but you may have a library that has a bunch of events in it from two totally separate productions. Maybe there's a whole bunch from a, a short film that you did, there's a whole bunch from a corporate project that you did, and then maybe there's some from a wedding, but they're all in the same library because they were all in the same volume. Right. So here's what you can do. Um, you can select any events. I'll command click both of these. I'll choose File, and I can move events to a new library. Okay? Oh, uh, one that you're about to create. Yeah, I can just I can create a new library and move mm -hmm. them. I'm not actually going to do it here because we're really going to get into this more in the media management, but it's very easy to then organize your events based on your own logic for how you work. Okay? You're not stuck with events in these particular libraries. That's just a starting point. Mm -hmm. And often it's a good starting point because many people organize their, you know, their work around I got everything on this hard disk. You know, so they might use it that way, but um, it's very flexible in terms of putting it into any event that you want. And the third thing is called consolidating libraries. And once again, I'm going to talk much more about this in media management, but the basic idea is, if you remember this various event, uh, in fact, if we go back to the finder, that this event had uh, media that was actually not in it, right? There were sim links, if I recall. Yeah, so if I go back into the, uh, I'll actually I'll go back into the library, show package contents, go into the various event, and there are those, those sim links. So one thing you can do, those sim links could be pointing to media on other drives, right, that you might want to disconnect. So one thing you can do is consolidate a library. Ah, 
I see. So basically, okay. it's going to go out and gather all your eggs into one basket. Yes. Yeah. And again, we'll go much more into this because you can consolidate a project, you can consolidate an event, you can consolidate a library, you can consolidate in or out of the library. But for now, my purpose is purely, hey, I'm cleaning up. I want to make sure everything's really in that library. So I'm going to select this updating library. I'm going to choose file, consolidate library files. Now, I'm assuming all the clips that are missing in various and wonder clips are somewhere connected on your drive. And well, if a clip is offline, it's not going to know what to do about that. Right. It, what it's going to do is any clips that, it, that are being pointed to with ah, valid sim links. Valid sim links. Yeah, okay. are going to replace it with the actual right. media. Got it. So here, I've got a choice, choice to uh, consolidate into this library or consolidate somewhere else. So I can choose anywhere I want. Here, I'm just going to choose the updating library. I'll click OK. And you see down here, it happened pretty quick, but some files got copied. In fact, if I go back to the finder, you'll see that these clips were now replaced with the original media Actual files. Actual clips. And yeah, so yeah. Now this guy clips. wasn't because that was that offline clip. And Remember? it doesn't know where to find it. Right. That because we never ever relinked it, it doesn't know where to find it. But any clips that are simply sim links get replaced with the actual media. What that does is make this library completely self-contained. Right. Everything's inside it. So now it's really easy to share that thing, to move it to another drive, to archive it, whatever. It's so easy to do. Like I said, like you said, actually, the library's with this self-contained little production units so yeah. you can move around. It's got your clips, it's got your projects, it's got everything. And you're free at any time to change that. And we'll talk again in the media management uh, much more about how that kind of works. But those are really the three steps that I recommend you go through in order to uh, kind of clean things up after the fact when you're, when you're done your update process. Because then going forward, you will have projects in the right events, you will have libraries organized around your productions, and then you will have the media directly accessible if you want it that way. And again, that's a, that's a choice that we'll talk a lot more about going forward. Well, excellent. So if you got a lot out of these, these lessons on um, updating your Final Cut Pro 10.1, um, I'd recommend going further. This is, uh, we wanted to put these out there for free so that you could essentially kind of have your, wrap your head around this new library model. Get going, yeah. But we're gonna go into a lot more detail. And if you haven't done so, you wanna check out our site, we have a product called Final Cut Pro 10.1 In-Depth that you can download and we're covering um, essentially what amounts to library management, event management, project management, uh, all the new features. All of the new features. Yeah. So you want to check that out. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is lesson two of right. like ten lessons. Right. So RippleTraining.com, you can uh, check out those and then download, watch them. But uh, so hopefully this really saved you a lot of headaches and problems. And yeah. you can see Final Cut Pro makes it very easy. Um, follow us at uh, on Twitter at Ripple Training or on Facebook for more information about our, our stuff. And Thank thanks, you. thanks for watching.